Okay, bueno, mi gente, Calix Boxing here. Hit that sub button, hit the alerts, Calix Boxing 2.0. And for all the prediction videos, go to the playlist on the channel, the prediction playlist on the channel. You can also catch Power Punches, the podcast, in the playlist on the channel as well. And hit that sub button. Like I said, Chris Colbert is facing King Tug Nyambar this weekend, two days away. Fun fight, man. This is a fun fight. I think these guys will mix it up, trade a little bit, and it'll turn into um, some nice action. Um, however, I like one guy clearly in this fight to win this fight um, and to take over the fight as the fight goes on. Um, but it will be an entertaining fight. Tell of the tape, Chris Colbert, last fought in December, 29 years old, six-year pro, turned pro in, uh, in 2015. He's 15-0, six KOs, 5-8. 71-inch reach advantage. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute because that's important. Um, King Tug Nambar, 12-1, nine KOs, 5-7, 67-inch reach. Once again, more on that in a minute. Uh, 29 years old, last fought in September. Um, came back with a win after the Gary Russell Jr. loss where he um, – did some good job, good work with the body punching, showed his jab a little bit, but was clearly outclassed in that fight with Gary Russell Jr. He's a guy who is somewhere, depending on what rankings you look at, somewhere between six and eight, right outside the top five at 126. Um, and Chris Colbert is a guy that's a fringe top 10 guy, like eight, somewhere between seven and 10, depending on what rankings you look at at 130. Um, Weight advantage. We're going to discuss that as well. He's a late, King Tug is a late replacement for Gamboa. Once again, another thing to pay attention to, because this is a tougher fight than Gamboa at 39 years old for Chris Colbert. Maybe not the name recognition that you get off of a Gamboa win, but a tougher fight on, on uh, late notice. The betting odds, minus 623 for Chris Colbert, uh, plus 417 for nine bars. So what Vegas is saying is they clearly like Chris Colbert to win this fight. They clearly like, they, this. those are long odds. They like Chris Colbert to win this fight a lot. And what they're looking at is the height and reach advantage matched with the speed advantage, matched with the weight advantage. Chris Colbert has all the advantage go, going into this fight, all the advantages. Um, King Tug does a lot of things well, um, does a lot of things good. I don't know if he does anything great. Um, durable fighter. Use the jab well um, at times. Good body puncher. He likes to mix it up. He's a tough guy. High KO percentage for a guy matched aggressively, 75% KO percentage. Uh, so you'd like to see that as well. He's a guy who goes forward in the ring. But he's going to walk into a lot of shots with Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert, a guy, uh, fast, cocky guy. Um, Chris Colbert loves him some Chris Colbert. And, you you know, it's good to have guys who are cocky because they're very confident. He's very confident in his, in his ability. But a guy who needs to step it up in competition, a guy five or six years into his career, you want to see him match more aggressively at this point. Um, and they're starting to do that, it looks like. Because this is a tough fight. This is not an easy fight. Now, the advantages that Colbert has in this fight, speed. He has a, a clear speed advantage over King Tug. I think he's a more um, uh, technically sound fighter as well. And you match that with the fact that he has a one-inch height advantage and what is it, a three- or four-inch reach advantage that he's going to be able to use against King Tug as well to keep him at bay. So you match that also with the weight advantage. King Tug, a natural 126-pounder right now, moving up to 130. Now, I hear a lot of people who are a little ignorant to how things are in the lower weight class and say, oh, it's only four pounds. The, the reason the weight classes are closer in the lower weight classes because of the averages, right? Um, these guys weigh less. So four pounds um, is similar to seven pounds in the higher weight classes, a seven pound difference in that. So this is the same as a guy moving up from 147 to 154 to fight. Just think of a top 10 guy at 147, some guy between six and 10 going up to face a guy in the similar in the rankings at 154. That's what you have here from 126 to 130. So Chris Colbert has... Um, a clear edge also in weight advantage. So weight advantage to him, uh, technical advantage to him, speed advantage, clear speed advantage to him as well. 
So for Colbert to, for King Tug to get in this fight, he's got to catch Col Colbert with some shots early um, to even the fight out a little bit um, and take those advantages away from Colbert. He's got to get on the inside and mix it up a little bit. But the, the thing with Colbert is he likes to mix it up and trade as well. He likes to mix it up and trade as well, and he can do that. And he'll win the trades on the inside with the um, the speed advantage, hand speed advantage that he has over King Tug. So I just see Colbert with every advantage in this fight over King Tug. But King Tug is not a guy you look past, especially on a week and a half um, notice where you don't have much film on the guy going in. You haven't studied him um, that much. You maybe don't have sparring with guys who have a similar style to him. It could be a tough fight on short notice. It's not anything to look past. So um, I like this in, to be an entertaining fight, but I think Colbert takes over this fight as the fight goes on and it goes to the scorecards and Colbert wins a fun fight, fun and entertaining fight, but I think he does it in a clear advantage, like 117, 111, something like that, nine rounds to three, um, somewhere in, in that range because I think he has all those advantages. But um, fun fight, fun fight nonetheless. Don't sleep on King Tug. He can be a tough match especially on short notice. So Colbert, by decision. Colbert doesn't have six knockouts and 15 wins. Doesn't have much power. Uh, but he has enough to keep you at bay, keep you honest. He has the hand speed to keep you honest as well so he can catch you with shots that you don't see coming in. So um, I just think Colbert wins this thing by decision. Y'all let me know how y'all see this fight playing out and catch the other predictions on the playlist on the channel as well. I'm out, man. God bless. Peace.